Welcome to Spiritual Rebirth Tarot. I'm Madeline. So nice to have you here. And um, I know it's December, but I had to wear my Halloween shirt. I don't know, it just, just felt like it. Um, anyway, I hope that you guys are doing great. And we're uh, getting ready for things like Christmas and all those fun things. And then in the world of, you know, spirituality and spiritual journeys and stuff, we have this great time on the 21st. Um, not only do we go into the, um, the winter season and we have the solstice, but we're also looking at um, that, uh, the conjunction of Saturn and Jupiter coming together, uh, being very close together, so you can just see almost as one body. And when they're in that position, um, they are in Aquarius. And so that is the bringing in of the time of Aquarius. It's been coming in since the, uh, 2012. And now is kind of that culmination of those energies. We're really raising the vibration of the planet. And the way we do that is each one of us really works on going inside right now. There's going to be all kinds of things that will try to be distracting us. But really to focus in and to focus in at this time. And so a few of the things that I wrote down related to that, we have a shift in consciousness that's going to be happening and a raising of the frequency both of ourselves and of the planet. And uh, basically we want to be exhibiting a divine essence. And as we do that, we become a light which is part of a huge web throughout the world. They can come and help to raise the frequencies of the whole planet. And so each one of us has a job and a purpose as a light worker to come and help to raise this planet, raise the, the happiness level, the joy level, and the uh, wonderment meter. So it's kind of like, you know, Santa Claus, um, you know, having those videos where Santa Claus can't ride his sleigh anymore because there's not enough people that believe in him. So it's kind of that energy of, you know, yes, we think we're only this one person that can only do so much, but when every single person does something, you know, it starts to um, open up in the planet. So as we're going through the reading today, if, if you have any comments, uh, please comment. I'd love to know who's watching, um, how you're feeling about these things, how you're getting ready for the Grand Conjunction, and uh, how all of this is going to come to play in your life. And then also, um, what I'll be doing is I'll be pulling an Angel Guidance Oracle card for each of the signs, and then some a clarification tarot to go with that and as we as we go through this please uh, subscribe to the channel like it share it um, tell other people in the community so that other people can uh, come and share in the hope healing and blessings for everyone at this time now the other um, the other thing that I wanted to say is I will do an extended at the end and we will be uh, looking at some of the energies of, you know, what are some of the uh, blocks that you'll be facing, some of the lessons that you need to be learning, some of the advice from your higher self uh, related to December 21st and the energies of this time. So if you are interested in the extended, if this uh, is resonating for you, um, you know, it'll be, it'll have somewhat of a, um, a collective type of feel and read to it in the extended. If you want to become, you know, a part of that, there'll be a link below. And then also you could join the uh, Patreon and all of my extendeds for all the different videos I do are on a Patreon tier for a uh, monthly type basis for you. And so all you have to do is watch three extendeds and it has more than um, paid for and compensated for um, being on the tier. So thank you so much for coming to this uh, reading today and I'm really looking forward to these energies. And so let's uh, take a look 
Uh, this is the uh, Oracle cards that I decided to to bring out, and it's the um, you know the uh, Angel Daily Messages uh, guides. So you should. I'll try to. I'll put the uh, list of all the decks I have at the in the description, and then also a timestamp since we're going to be going through the uh, the different. Um, signs so what i want to do to make sure i don't mess up the signs i'm going to start with the fire signs because this is the uh, sagittarius time period so we can have the uh, birthday people go first and so i'll do the three fire signs three air signs three water signs and three earth signs just to make sure i stay in the right order and then as i said um um, and then uh, I will put a timestamp in there for that. So let's ask the, uh, the divine to come, bless us, guide us, and protect us in this reading. Okay, so Sagittarius. Let's start Sagittarius with a card for you. Oh, I got this one earlier today. Law of Attraction. This has kind of been my theme this uh, this week. So you can see she's attracting all of these animals to her. Or the angel is attracting all these animals. I decided angels aren't really male or female. Um, There's just they're these energy source, right? So this angel is bringing these, attracting um, all of these entities to it. You know, whatever you think that you attract, that's what you attract. Each thought, each thought is an investment that pays immediate dividends. So invest wisely. Hmm. You have the power to choose your thoughts. So happiness is a choice. And align them with peace, love, and harmony. At your request, we will gladly attune your energies to higher frequencies. So when we're uh, looking at this time period with the frequencies, you know, what could be better, Sagittarius, than for you to learn more about the law of attraction? And the angels are more than happy to do that. I'm reading a book right now called The um, Angels of Abundance, I think it's called. And uh, it just talks about how to use um, visualization um, and... Uh, mantras and you know all these kind of things to attract and to bring into your life these uh, energies and these higher frequencies and uh, you know uh, just the things that you need in life and so many of us have so many needs right now uh, with the uh, you know coronavirus and a pandemic kind of like holding a lot of stuff down so this is a, a great thing to learn more about and the angels are saying we are here to help you and guide you and instruct you. And I know like Uriel, Archangel Uriel will come to you and he'll help you to have these higher thought patterns in your mind. So um, let me take a look at the uh, tarot and see what the tarot is telling you about the law of attraction at this time period. And how it can help you, you know, how, you know, the more about the law of attraction, I mean, it just seems obvious, but helping you to get those higher frequencies to be able to be a light that's part of this uh, wonderful grid. Okay, Sagittarius. Okay, so it's saying that during, you know, during your sleep, um, guard your thoughts. Ask Michael to come 
you know, Archangel Michael to come and guard your thoughts and help you to dream of those positive things, things that will help you join in this. And you are this uh, strong, powerful person who um, can bring that balance and clarity into the world. And you will shine your, shine your light into the world. And uh, there are some things that you need to step away from, some things from your past, and especially maybe even from your past past and from those past lives type thing. You need to be healed, heal the energies um, that are kind of related to the uh, human um, natural side of yourself. And so the more you um, come into harmony uh, with your, yourself, uh, the more you will be able to have that uh, rest and peace going into yourself right now to know how to follow your heart and to manifest into your life. So that's really great, uh, Sagittarius. I think that is a, a wonderful message. Uh, study more about the law of attraction. Okay, so uh, the next is Aries. All right, Aries. Okay, Aries, let's see. At this time, we're creating this light energy grid. What will the angels have as a message for you? I was ready with the same card. Uh, okay. Creative project. Oh, fascinating. So the angels are saying one of the best ways for you to raise your vibration, to become part of the energy of the, the new energy of the planet, is to uh, be creative in your endeavors. Um... Your soul longs to express itself in creative ways. You're guiding, you're guided to infuse artistry and creativity into your life. Creative expression makes you feel alive and excited and reignites passions towards your life. So the angels will come to you and help you with creativity and passion, um, artistry and direction in your life. And by focusing on those things, you can see, you know, it's like your vibration will be raised and you will have a, a higher uh, sense of purpose. So the areas that are watching this, you're definitely being called to creativity. Now there are many ways, I mean, you can cook, good meal and that can be very creative there are many ways that you can add creativity to your life so it's asking you know it could be something physical mental spiritual emotional so whatever way you can add uh, creative projects to to your life okay So, some of you have been really struggling with kind of depression and feeling like it's just not a lot of progress or growth or movement or knowing where to go or what to do. And this message of adding creativity will really bring the momentum that you need to uh, move forward in a new direction. So for you, Aries, you know, um, it could also be that a cancer person somehow comes into your life and helps you and guides you. Let me see uh, what tarot might come out for this uh, cancer person. If it is a person. I don't know 
how this deck got. I always keep everything upright because I can just look at it and know if it's more the positive or the negative aspect of it. But for some reason, the deck is all mixed up. So, um, the cancer person is someone who's gone through a lot of heartache. It's not as good at communicating or really seeing their opportunities out there. But they will be able to help you find that one creative thing that you're looking for. Okay, so next is Leo. So Leo, let's see what message the angels have for you to be part of this uh, grid of light it will help to raise the vibration of the planet. Time to go. I actually read this one earlier today. Love this one. Okay, so this angel's moving quickly, moving fast. Um, you can also see the sun is setting. Um, so time to go. The sun sets and rises each day. And it's the same with the adventures in your life. See the beauty within each sunset in your life. And know that the sun will also rise again tomorrow. Endings are merely the start of a new beginning. And we are with you through each phase and cycle. You know, I, I think of this as the... Um, so Leo, I think of this as the death card. You know, that's the Scorpio energy. You know, it's uh, the sun sets. And then it rises again, you know, the, uh, the death and the new life and the cycles. And it says, see the beauty within each sunset. So for you, it might be that something is ending your life and you're going into the next thing. But it could also be um, that... If somebody in your life has died or is dying recently, uh, maybe because of the coronavirus, maybe because of um, just this illness or around Christmas and the holidays, people tend to uh, pass away. But at the same time, new life, a new baby, a new energy is coming into the world. And so, you know, like one person said, you know, if it weren't for death, there will be too many crocodiles and mayflies. And so, you know, if there was a birth, you have to have death. So it's a stagnation if, uh, if you don't have it. And so just as the sun rises and the sun sets and the cycles happen, the angels will be here. So during this time, um, learning to grab onto and find beauty in the cycle of life is what's going to really be the most beneficial for you. And so um, let me take a look at the tarot. So this is uh, for Leo. So it's the Ace of Swords and the Six of Wands. So there's during this during this time there'll be an opportunity coming to you, which will really give you a lot of uh, victory in your life. But something will have to move out of the way in order for that to happen. Some kind of a tower or a break. Something will have to, just like the uh, the death card, you know, the death energy of letting go and moving on. Something will have to give way in order for this uh, new 
experience to come in and give you victory. So let's take a look at um, the tarot and ask to clarify the tower. Side down and right side up again. Um, what can we do about that? It feels more like this. There's something that you have built, something that you're doing, something that was very important and that you planted a lot of seeds for that just didn't give you the happiness and the satisfaction that you needed. And it has to be wiped away so the uh, new thing can come in. So this, you know, beautiful energy of the Queen of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. I know, but followed by the Five of Swords. And so for many years, you know, this, this happiness in this environment was there. But it has uh, broken down. And it's uh, gone. But a new thing is coming, which will bring you a lot of joy and happiness. So it really is the angels are saying, we're here for you. And this time is a, a, a circular time for you. Okay. Um... Let's go with uh, the air signs next. Uh, Gemini. Angel message for Gemini. There's nothing to worry about. I'm a Gemini. Isn't that like the perfect card for us? Get out of your head. There's nothing to worry about. Look at that beautiful, I mean, 40 days and 40 nights inside of a, a uh, ark with all those animals. And then God sends the rain and the dove. And you see the rainbow he promises, I will never send a flood again. The sun comes in, so this is nothing to worry about. You are safe, and this situation is under the perfect control of divine providence and universal order. Only infuse loving thoughts and emotions into the situation to ensure that the highest possible outcome and vibration flows effortlessly to and through you. So to have the best outcome come to you, set aside the worrying and infuse loving thoughts and emotions into the situation. So the angels are here to help you to move past whatever is going on and to uh, find um, a, better, a better way. Okay, so let's uh, do some tarot to help explain this card more, Gemini. So, to become part of the uh, matrix of light surrounding the world, there's nothing that you need to worry about. Hearts underneath the lovers. So it truly is your reading. There's nothing for you to worry about. You know, your your shining shine knight in shining armor is arriving. The uh, you know the 
to let go of those stresses and strains and worries and to know that you are ready into your truth, into your happiness, into your peace, into your joy. You know, take that time in uh, contemplation and quietness, you know, all that you need. And uh, play the harp. Enjoy the fun. Be, be, the, be the merriment. And, uh, you know, there'll be, there'll be time to uh, speak the truth and uh, to have this uh, clarity and energy. Uh, but now is the time to, to, not, to not worry and to um, have that uh, sense of, of peace and happiness and love making uh, good, solid decisions in your life. Okay, Gemini, that is a great message. So um, let's take a look, um, Aquarius. Okay, what message, Aquarius, do the angels have coming for you during this time to help you be a light worker, a light part of the grid, the uh, new earth? Cleanse and detoxify. Okay, Aquarius. So it's calling for you to cleanse and detoxify your life. And that could be physically, um, to eat better food, uh, actually do cleanses. It could be uh, mentally uh, to detoxify and uh, move things out of your life that are not needed. And the angels will help you to do that. With great love and respect, this is even smaller. With great, great love and respect, we ask you to detoxify your precious and sensitive body. Um, at your request, we'll help you develop life for me ways to deal with stress as well as ease any sorrow at shedding your old ways. Give your cares, worries, and concerns to us and feel the beautiful grace of your newly purified body. So call upon the angels and they will help you detoxify and cleanse your life Okay, so let's pull up some uh, tarot cleanse and detoxify your body. And you just ask the angels to help you, and you'll be led and guided to the types of things that would be best for your body for what it needs. Page of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, and Three of Pentacles. So, like I said, um, these opportunities will come to you. Ways to do these cleansings and healings. And uh, it will really help you to stand on your own, be your own self, um, have that strength of character and will that you need. And kind of take that time to do the little things that you enjoy. And I think that's part of detoxifying the stress out of your life. The mental detoxification is uh, just finding those little happy things that you enjoy. And as you do those happy and joyful things, um, you'll be able to grow and to have that um, strength, will, and character that you need to have to grab onto these opportunities that are coming to you. Okay, Aquarius, so now let's take a look, Libra. Okay. So Libra, what um, angel messages are coming to you at this time to help you build, be part of the light 
He builds the grid of light around the world. Let your past go. So I know that you like to be balanced, but there's a time to let the past go and move into the future and kind of walk into that new, wonderful, beautiful energy. And this is just so much the same color. The burden of carrying your past around has made you weary. Dear one, it's time to set this burden down. Keep only the lessons and the love and leave everything else. You don't want it or need it. It's gone now. So part of shining your light is to like open the shutters and to uh, let that light shine out of you. And in order to do that, you're going to have to put aside the past and not look at it anymore and look toward the uh, future and uh, what is there for you. So uh, help with that in the tarot. Okay, the star, which is Aquarius, and so Libra, and the Aquarius will be there. Uh, Five of Cups and Knight of Wands. Underneath is the Empress. So for some of you, there'll be kind of like a mother figure that you have to let go of. I let go of maybe some of their dogmas. So the star um, brings that hope and healing into your life and kind of that, that wish. And you know you have you have a wish and you feel like it kind of hasn't come to pass, but it really it is there. I mean, just like you say, you have to open those shutters and let the light shine out and let the light shine in, and that new um, opportunity and growth will come to you. The other thing Empress could be is just that overwhelming abundance of, of energy, you know, the law of attraction, bringing that uh, abundance into your life, raising your uh, vibration. Okay. So we're going to go on to the water signs now. So in the water signs, the first one we'll do is the Pisces. So Pisces... Uh, what message the angels have for you at this time to help you shine your light in the world? Blessings in disguise. So as Pisces, sometimes there are things that we just see as a detour or something that we really don't think is maybe even should be in our lives. Yet it's saying it's a blessing in disguise. What appears to be a problem is actually part of your answered prayer. You'll understand the reasons behind your present situation as everything resolves. Trust in heaven's uh, protection and infinite wisdom in answer to your prayer in the best way. So sometimes the angels and God and everyone don't answer our prayers in the way we think they should be answered, Pisces, but it doesn't mean that it won't um, happen for you, that that direction won't come for you, that the right way won't be there. It's just that it will unfold in a different way than you have been expecting. Let's take a look at the tarot to explain this message a little more. What kind of things are in the way 
that you feel are in the way, but they're actually part of the plan. So, um, Five of Swords. So there might be some conflicts that you fought, some battles you fought that you feel like you didn't need to or you're not sure that you won. But maybe by losing that battle, you win the next one. And so, um, you know, having this time of uncertainty might be the only way to get where you want to go. And uh, maybe getting lost in the universe um, having a hard time finding your way, not knowing the way out, you know, getting in that little cavern and not knowing out, not knowing which way to go. Um, you know, maybe your uh, dreams at night, your thoughts in your mind are kind of overwhelming you. And you're wondering why you're going through this pattern. But, you know, let the angels sort them out. And help and, and guide you to the uh, answers that you're supposed to have. So the overall message for you Pisces is that you are at a point in your life uh, where you're having to um, understand that you are in a, in a state of... Um, you know, misdirection, and that through this circuitous route, uh, you'll be finding the uh, the right way ahead in the labyrinth. Okay, water signs. Uh, Cancer. All right, Cancer. What are the angels telling you, uh, Cancer, that you need to know? to shine your light in the world at this time. Oh, we got this again. There's nothing to worry about. So this was the one we got with uh, Gemini. And we also got it with Cancer. So this is the time when we just set aside worry and uh, instead uh, find that real peace that's being offered to us. You see the dove and the sense of peace and the, uh, the beautiful rainbow energy, you know, to, to set aside those uh, feelings of uh, worry and to let peace into your life. You are safe and the situation is under the perfect control of divine providence and universal order only infuse loving thoughts and emotions into the situation to ensure that the highest possible outcome flows effortlessly to you and through you so for some reason i just all of a sudden thought of like the Christmas time and how a lot of us won't be able to be seeing our families the way we normally like to. And Cancer, in whatever situation you're in, know that divine timing is a part of it. Infuse happiness and joy into every thought and action that will really bring you through, effortlessly flow. Uh, to the highest possible outcome. Okay, uh, messages from the tarot for you. There's nothing to worry about. The angels are there to help you to set aside your worry and to focus on the happy, you know, Happiness is a choice. Eight of Cups, Judgment, Star. Beautiful energy. So Cancer, you know, um, 
you might be worried about something that you're having to walk away from and leave and hoping you're doing it right. Hoping you're walking into the right thing, the right next thing for you as you walk away from what has been. And it's a very good thing. It's an eight of cups. It's, it's a happy, joyful thing that you're having to walk away from because it's no longer serving you. And I really feel like it's part of your, your life path and your plan and what you have planned for your life. And that as you have, you know, looked into your, your future and kind of were planning these um, energies in this direction of your soul, uh, you knew that this was going to be a time when a transition would happen and a change. So that means, you know, don't, you don't need to infuse yourself with worry. Instead, infuse yourself with joy and happiness that this is the right path you're walking down into that pure light and into this wish that you've had, this uh, true wish fulfillment and happiness, a joy, peace, kind of that genie in the bottle that's there to help you and give you uh, the things that you want. Um, also, this card, I mean, it draws you to this time, you know, the age of Aquarius coming in, uh, raising the vibration of the planet, and as Cancer, you may have a very special part in that. And uh, just uh, having to have the strength and the courage, the power to do what needs to be done to really help this world unite together um, in those uh, beautiful energies uh, that you have. So no more worries. The, uh, the happiness is, is coming in. Okay, so the uh, Scorpio. Okay, Scorpio, let's take a look. What do the angels uh, want to tell you about being a light in the world at this time? Coming into the age of Aquarius. And you got this one again, another. What is this? Who is it that got this? Anyway, uh, Pisces. Oh, so same, still waters. Cleanse and detoxify. So it's very important right now to be detoxifying and cleansing. And to, um, in our, you know, bringing that uh, purity into our bodies. And this, this card's all about, um, I'm not going to read it. I can try. It was like a hard one to read. It's just small words. With great love and respect, we ask you to detoxify your precious and sensitive body. At your request, we'll help you to develop life-affirming ways to deal with stress, as well as ease any sorrow at uh, shedding your old ways give your worries your cares and your concerns to us the angels and feel the beautiful grace of your newly purified body so the angels are coming to you wanting to uh, cleanse and purify your body and help you to do the right things and to move you toward for that. So let's take a look at the tarot and see uh, more guidance for you in the area of cleansing and detoxifying. Okay, the Fool, the Ten of Cups, and the Sun. So Scorpio, the you know, um, there might be something to do with taking care of your body that you're just going to have to go for it and just do it and in some way you've never done before. And as you take on that energy, you just go for it. You're going to find happiness and joy in a way that you have never known it was possible for you. And so it might be for you in particular this message of detoxifying and cleansing is that one key secret 
and that you have not uh, found so far. It's really going to help uh, bring this uh, lasting more joy and happiness into your life. And so more than um, anyone else, I could, this is just like so much of high energy cards and a high vibration. You know, and just really uh, taking you to the, the next level of that um, high vibration in your life. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, so um, now we're off to the Earth, uh, Taurus. Okay, Taurus, what are the angels asking you to do? What are they offering to you? Things that will help you to be able to walk in and be that shining light to the world at this time. Okay, blessings in disguise. I keep getting the same cards. <laughs> blessings in disguise. So this is, you know, having that energy of needing to have a divine detour. Uh, one of my other card sets, the uh, the coyote is the divine detour. You know, he says, you know, you, you're going to have a little detour in your life. You won't understand why it's there. That detour in your life will help you in the end to get where you really wanting to go. And uh, so what appears to be a problem is actually part of your answered prayers. You'll understand the reasons behind your present situation as everything resolves. Trust in heaven's protection and infinite wisdom to answer your prayer in the best way. So even when you feel like a fallen angel, you feel like you're not on the right path, you don't know if you're going the right way, things will open up and they'll expand to you. And you'll realize this is the way that I always needed to go next. Okay. Taurus. Let's take a look at the tarot. Eight of Cups. Queen of Swords. And Judgment. So Taurus, um, there'll be something that you're needing to walk away from. So maybe that's what you feel like this uh, detour. You're like, is that really the way I'm supposed to go? I'm supposed to leave all these beautiful cups behind? I'm supposed to go on this journey of the soul, this journey of the spirit, this journey of the body? I'm supposed to walk that way? I'm supposed to go that way? And as I, as I, as I go that way, more and more clarity will come. That's what the card said. As it unfolds, clarity will come to you. And it's part of your, your life path, your soul path, the journey that you chose and picked. It's part of the way that is meant for you in the end. It's a beautiful message, Taurus. On the card underneath this, the Aquarius. We're going into the age of Aquarius. As you walk into the age of Aquarius, there may be some little obstacles in the way. You're like, how did that get here? And just know that it's there for a divine purpose in your life. You are on the right path. You are going in the right direction. And the difficulties that you're having now are just part of that bigger picture. Okay, now let's go to Virgo. All right, Virgo. Let's take a look here. Okay, we just get the same cards over and over again. Time to let go. See how this angel's running fast, Virgo? 
So Virgo, especially with your energy, you have a tendency to be good at doing the things that I'm no good at. <laughs> I'm a Gemini. I just, it's so hard to keep that house organized. <laughs> and you need to let go. Okay. The sun sets and rises each day. So remember, the sun sets and the sun rises. And it's the same with the avenues in your life. See the beauty within each sunset in your life. And know that the sun will rise again tomorrow. I think that I was supposed to read that message three times today because I already read it before this and now I've read it twice today. Know that the sun will rise again tomorrow. Sometimes when things are the darkest, it's hard to realize that the sun is right around the corner. Endings are merely the start of a new beginning. And we are with you through each phase and cycle. And so this is, to me, is like the energy of the death card. You know, the uh, letting go and accepting something new in. Time to let go, time to move forward, trying to run ahead. Time to let the cycles of the world kind of take you in their grasp and show you the lessons that you came here to learn. So Virgo, let's take a look at the tarot message for you. Temperance, Four Pinnacles. So to me, this is again that, you know, holding on too tightly, you need to let go. You know, let go of your money, let go of your success, let go of your lack of success, let go of whatever it is in your life that you need to let go and let new and maybe in the moon you'll find out or we have the, the new moon coming up with the full moon at the end of the month and in between you have the 21st and you know there may be things that aren't clear to us how how things will work out but just uh, grab onto that energy Sagittarius energy of uh, patience and balance and acceptance of the unknown uh, walk into walk into the unknown and let go of the known and you will find a true uh, blessing waiting for you and underneath is the uh, death card. It should be that's this one is that as well. The time to let go. Scorpio energy. Okay, so now, last but not least, uh, Capricorn. So, you know, maybe point you to a child that you have or an inner child, a journey. <coughs> it's different for different people. Excuse me. You care deeply about children. And they readily respond to your love. All children, including your own inner child, require love, affection, and attention. We can clear and open your heart and schedule that you can give more time and energy to the children who need you. Oh, they can clear and open your heart and your schedule. So they'll 
make your life more open to you know, if your desire is this more time with your children the angels will help you to do that and if um your desire is to cleanse your heart and to love your inner child and to help it to uh, grow up uh you'll the angels will help you do that as well so the this card for you capricorn is related to uh, children and the inner child and that um connection that you have that the angels will um, help you with So Eight of Wands, Hierophant, and King of Wands. So the angels in this case are going to help you with your communication and come in quickly and directly and strongly and uh, kind of help you in maybe some of the bigger ways. Um, the Hierophant has to do a lot with the uh, kind of like big business, uh, big, I always want to say big pharma. <laughs> You know, kind of like those, uh, like maybe uh, you will be able to have a voice having to do with some of the major issues in the world, and it might even become your passion for some of you. Uh, for others, it's just simply saying, you know, um, communicate what you're doing. You know, it had two different people there. You know, it was communication, then it was somebody kind of hiding away, and then it was somebody sitting out as a king. So communicate with others how you're feeling at the time. Do you need to be more withdrawn or can you be more open? You know, um, I heard this one person um, is Breen Brown. She said that when her and her husband come home, the first thing they do is communicate about where they're at. You know, well, I'm at a 20% or I'm at a 40%. And it'll kind of help them know, okay, who needs to take care of the kids and who needs to do the dishes and get ready for dinner. So there's kind of a, an understanding and a, a talking at the very, you know, communication to know where you're at. Okay, so uh, Capricorn, I hope that you enjoyed uh, that uh, reading and thank you uh, so much. Okay, so we have finished all of the um, readings for the different zodiacs and so we'll go over to the extended now.